full of lemon drops all disappear Our lips like children, the voices we hear All smiles, they're all smiles they're Hey guys, so today I am outside and that is why you hear children screaming There's a birthday party that way My friends, or my brother and his friends are that way and there's birds chirping and that is amazing like literally five days ago it was snowing and now there's almost green grass and I'm wearing a skirt and a short sleeve shirt so I'm super happy our weather is literally bipolar I'm so excited that it's finally getting warm enough out speaking of warm weather it's May Day in a few days so today I have three May Day basket ideas one May Day basket idea for like a traditional May Day basket, one for teenage girls, and one for young tots. I just love giving May Day baskets to people because like I love to see their expressions when they open up the door and then they chase after you. I don't I don't really do the kissing tradition. Without further ado, let's get on to the three fun and easy ideas for May Day. Let's start with basket one. This is the most traditional basket. So first you're going to want to get a teacup and you can find teacups at like thrift shops and old antique stores for a really good deal. The one I have is like ombre with gold and it's really pretty. But now you're going to get your working gloves on and you're going to grab some potting soil and you're just going to get a scoop of that and scoop it into your teacup. Don't worry about getting soil on your saucer. Once you're done packing it in, you can go empty out the so soil somewhere else. Next, I'm going to take some seeds. You can take herbs or flowers. I chose basil, and I'm just going to unwrap that and pour that into my cup and replant that into the teacup so they can have their own like personal mini garden. Next, I'm laying out some tissue paper underneath my teacup, and I'm going to add some tea packets, some tea biscuits, and a pack of tissues that are kind of a cute spring color. Love, love, love begin. So after you figure out a way to wrap it up, I'm just taking a ribbon, and I'm going to tie it into a bow so it's all nice and ready to go. Oh, oh, oh. Now for basket two, this is something that I'd be giving to my best friends. So this time, instead of using tin foil paper, I'm going to use some old bean cans. So you can paint these and design them any way you want, or you can leave them plain and metallic like I am. Next, I'm going to be filling it up about halfway with some Starburst. These red ones are my favorite. Then I'm adding a baby lips and an Essie nail polish, but any lip product and nail polish is perfect. Everybody steals the for the next part, you're going to need some scissors, some pipe cleaners, fabric, and a hot glue gun. Start by laying out your fabric and folding it over so it's about three finger widths length, and you're going to just cut that strip right off. Next, lay your pipe cleaner out in the middle of your strip and hot glue gun one side, and then you're going to fold them together and hot glue it together so it's like a tube. Then fold it hamburger style and cut off from the corner to about 1.5 inches on the other side. So it's like a diagonal. And you're just going to hot glue gun those ends together. Now is a good time to touch up on anything that is hanging out and then you're going to tie it around your can again for a little decorative piece. But this also doubles as a bun headband for your friends. Disappear. Our lips like children. The voices we hear all smiles, they're all smiles. Now basket three is something I'd make for the little kiddos. Next, I'm taking some Tinkerbell cups that I got from Walgreens, but they had other kinds if you wanted to get one for a boy. I'm taking the Starburst again, and I'm just going to fill up the cup so it helps the lollipop that I got them, this cute watermelon lollipop, to stay up. Then taking a colorful sheet of paper, I'm going to line up the edges so it can form a square and you're going to have an extra piece. You're just going to fold the extra piece, like the rectangle at the top, over and I know this kind of is gross, but you're going to lick it so it's easy to tear and you're just going to tear it apart. Then folding the big triangle in half, you're going to have it like creased so you can open it and there will be four different triangles. 
Then we take out our scissors again, and these little babies are just going to cut halfway up on each one of the creases. Don't cut all the way to the center. Then using a thumbtack, I'm going to poke a hole in the left side of each triangle and in the center. Then I'm folding the left corner of each triangle into the center where they meet. And I'm going to take a thumbtack and put the through the holes that I made and put it through the eraser of a pencil so the little kid gets a pencil to write with too and secure it on. Honestly, these are so fun that I probably would give some to my friends and keep some for myself. You're the only one who can take me there. Oh, 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 oh. I've never known it could. That is it for the Mayday video. If you guys like these ideas, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below what your favorite thing for about Mayday is. Don't forget to send me pictures of your Mayday baskets if you make Mayday baskets or if you tried out any of these ideas with the hashtag Mayday with Soli. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye! I'm like trying to run and hold the camera at the same time. I'm like, P.S. Putting your phone in the can, like, echoes it. So it like, it's like a la mini speaker. What? Ow! I got it in my eye. I got dirt in my eye. I'm abnormal. No, that's okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Did that scare you? I grew basil a while back. Don't know what happened to it. I think it died. Sorry about that, peeps. See here it says, basil is the smell of summer. Nothing like it. So basil, nothing like it.